yo, no offense to no other culture out there, but I honestly think Jamaicans have the best meal. I think Jamaicans cook the best food. Like, men I think nothing beat our food. Like curry goat or rice and peas, stew peas and rice. You understand me? I said, I can't suffer with dumpling and banana. Jesus Christ. Mm-mm. Steam fish with crackers and okra. Now, people, you ever think to yourself, with all of the craziness that we are going to Jamaica right now, but yet still, you are so proud to be Jamaican. As a matter of fact, if you are a proud Jamaican type, I am a proud Jamaican in the comment section. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them try clip with wings, somehow we can't fly out. Hey, one well, more water we put on him, John Guyana. Boy, I'm Maru and Zamunda want to let go the bomb buckler Janga them in a youth. Can't give me Janga them to keep. No, no far, I'm going to bush go look for them blood clad Janga. Rasta, you try to let them go. Zamunda and I, Maru, what make you want to show the man Janga? You're not so far in a bush, the man go for go look him Janga. People, by the way, what is Janga though? Popcorn and Sam go bush go look Janga. One year Janga. People, come on, man. Of course, I know what name Janga, but do you remember, say, me an old country man, you know, say, so can't do, follow me. <laughs> And yeah, what is up, our government and South Truth family? Over each and every one of you is having a blessed, 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 blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and make we kick the video off like a ball. Man, a baller, me not change for no reason. Me no man go in half a season. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now people in jamaica this is what you call a sample man everybody's supposed to have a sample man in a them community unless you live uptown anyhow people him did they talk about him not afraid of no police as him look is a police pass him hombre i said jaja this reaction was priceless did they say to himself to look come in the yard give myself trouble i mean no i'm afraid of police people <laughs> let's look at that again yeah. 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 Yes, man, you fucker, yo. Look how intense I take the picture, yeah. Dog, not even looking at the camera. What's your dog, though? Like, bumbo clad girl. I say, yeah, I say, girl. Why, me never take your body good girl. Bumbo clad. Me fuck up. Me fuck up. What if I can look for the ass? Me fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> now people that was a popular dance and artist intense and as i can see people it was a meet and greet take picture autograph sign stuff like that you don't know the whole network but people intense look like him never too interested for take no picture with the female but when the female rise off her throne and him see the two something them Puff up on her back in tents. I said, Jaja, God. Oh my God. Me should have showed the woman more interest. Jaja is like in tents. I said, Oh my. Oh Lord. <laughs> Look at what I just made past me, people. <laughs> That reaction was priceless. The man all scratch him head. You know, people, make we look at that again. Look how intense I take the picture. Yeah. Dog, not even looking at the camera. What's your dog, though? Like, Bumbo clad girl, I say, yeah, I say, big girl. Why, me never take your body good girl. Bumbo clad, me fuck up. Yes, man, you fucker, yo. Yeah. Why, people, it look like say, he intends to say to himself, say, me should have dead in between that. And then the man just scratch him head and say, oh, shoot. I blew it. <laughs> Anyhow, we were speaking about Intense, though. We have a video clip in showing Intense performing in NYC for the first time. Intense, first time in New York. Now 
now we will with not the best but some good news the prime minister of jamaica andrew oldness has stated that with the enforcement of the new road traffic act they are now seeing some results as road fatalities has decreased since the start of the year i'm i'm pleased to announce that we have seen a 14 percent reduction in road fatalities and uh, uh, an eight percent reduction in fatal crashes uh, we are 110 days already in the year but we have seen over 120 deaths so it's a significant a no a number of lives lost but we have saved lives obviously but it is clear that certainly the actions that we took uh, last year new implementation of the new road traffic act and other initiatives including greater enforcement the Jamaican public is more conscious of using the roadway safely. So the consciousness may have come from an increase in enforcement, but what we really want is a change in behavior. That will take time, we acknowledge. And uh, like all other human endeavors, you can encourage people for them to aspire to do better, but sometimes enforcement is also necessary so that people see the penalties and the disadvantage in breaking the rules. Why the Jamaican people, when they go out wharf, they go clear barrels and create? Why the prices them so? These, the mafia pay these you, these enormous prices, they clear them thing. Why? Why the Jamaican government have a set, a set price? Fee a one barrel or a two barrels, okay. Is a one barrel? Alright. Food stuff in it? Alright. Six thousand. Alright, ten thousand we clear this. Two barrel? Eighteen thousand. For lungs a food stuff in the zine. Alright. Close. If I close the same for your family, alright. Level thousand for your barrel. Zine. And that's how some flat wheel. No. The the wharf is like the wharf in Jamaica like a, is a scamming ground. You reach. The security at the gate want that you have to pay my thing. If you, if you pass 10 man go to see you have to pay them. And when they go up on the counter, they have to pay for the counter. They, then you pay that one, they pay that one there. Jesus God, man. And then you have, remember, you, know, you have this person where, where you take, if you come, if you come, help, if you clear the barrel, if you take him vehicle, you have to pay him. Lord God. Mm -hmm. The amount of money where you pay throughout the wharf for one day, it better you take that money there and convert it back into the currency from where, you, where the barrel them shit from and send them back. See, a man has said a one and two barrel and a crate with some food at Jamaica and because what? The Prime Minister in a Jamaica allow the prices for go up on the people. Them. So a man said, watch out. He said, I may send mummy or I may send mummy or send give a pity them money every week to go to the supermarket and be a mother and my wife. So watch out. Remember, I said a one barrel or a two barrel. See, or a crate. When we look at last, them for your wife and they have some food. See? Jesus God, the Prime Minister, they, 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 they even look on that. Them not look on that. Them are force you to go in at the supermarket them. To go down your local money. Zin. And them now every child to work back upon the prices them and the thing. Zin. The common thing that we can't buy but your family and brother send them come give you. And, they, and it's like the government no wonder for them. Eh? Why these prices? Where I kill the man. Family. Me I tell you no say. It's a robbery I go on in the wharf. If there, if there are high level robbery are going in the wharfs in Jamaica. See? Minimum man, we send them thing. I didn't know what the funniest thing, you know, in a Jamaica, in the wharf them. Before, before you read, if you go clear your thing, them, your barrel and your barrel and your crate, they already search. They say anything more valuable, they thief it. And when they go, they might tell you, no, 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 no. We didn't search them. This is the first time. And who are helping search your barrel them? And your crate, you have to pay them for helping search it. So tell me. If I know wicked this is. Now let me ask all the persons overseas this question. Do you think it even makes sense in today's day to even pack a barrel and send it to Jamaica with the shipping costs? Then we clear the barrel. Does it even make sense anymore? Talk to me in the comment section. And people, we always complain about the government doing this and the government doing that. Quite frankly, the government don't give a f about me nor you remember these people they live in mansions they drive the best cars and they get money to handle and are rapid them have money to splash dash and you know the saying goes who knows it feels it them don't know it so them now feel it
The same boy where you lend your car. Who go around the corner go fuck your baby mother in your car where you lend him as a G. The same boy where you borrow your shoes for wear as a G to a G for going on his streets. I him a pre with some next set of man to slap out your head back. Google now of them code your youth. Now people, this video has been widely circulated in the internet. As you can see, the man I walk past and see woman in a car. Judge a God. And by the looks of it, you know, a bond the woman I kid the man. And people, we not talk about nothing for eat. Judge, the man take the woman out of the car. And go with the woman, rough up your woman. Jaja, me I tell you, people, let me ask you this question in a real life, you know. If you are walk past one car and you see a woman in there, you just know see a bond the woman at you. What would you do? Would you drag the woman out of the car? Care her, go out your yard, go physically or verbally abuse her. Or you would have just say, go on with your business, man. People, you have some woman, you know, all them interested in a, a material things. And why I say this, people, take a look at this video. Me, it's a girl already, you know, and she said she have a man. I'm saying, I'm not business. I may talk to her, so till me eventually take him, take her away from her nigga. And I know, say, me and I talk for a while, and I see him where one nigga take, away, take her away from me. So the moral of the story is that sometimes we see him where or you get them, I see him where you lose them. You understand? So, gentlemen, you don't need to feel impressed no woman with no materialistic things, no money, no car. Because if if a that you use to impress her, don't feel no way when she come in your life and a that you have to use to keep her. All she see for for your possession, your asset. You understand? And some of us men we don't like women who are mentally strong. So if a woman not easy and you know we can't easily manipulate, we not spend no time to get to know them, know them or whatever. You understand? So when I meet a good woman, bro, they more challenge her mentally. You see me? So just know say. The woman who they give her time to get a longer time to get, she go take a longer time to lose. You understand? And good women they not really easy. You understand? Especially when they know what they want. So yeah, that's our message for today. Yeah. And people, yes, women cheat for material things, but yeah, so have some women are not just about the material things. Well, people, I think this song can best explain exactly what I mean. One man can satisfy her. More good for the fire. And people, I'll leave you with this one from Cargo's wife. Is it wife or ex-wife? People correct me in the comment section, but she is exposing reggae legend Sisla. People, take a look at this video. Hey Mark, come on, I'm talking about this brand. Your brand? You have too many people if you talk about your brand and what your brand represent. Your, your, your brand represent mischief, litigation exploitation and straight or teeth and a one and a two you just don't have a right to say no no you, you, you shouldn't have a right to say you never produce no music theme or nothing at all it may be somebody never right if you want to call your name because what you stand for probably not what he wants to be associated with and a one and a two and we all know them jack here come out and say something the seems to come out and say something this one from St. Thomas the other day come, come say, we know Queen Africa have said it before, Luciana, lots of people, Egyptian, lots of people come out and talk about how you took their music, claim self for you, and exploit their music. And it's the same thing that you try to do with cargo. You come and you say, are you this, are you that, and the third. And you run out and you start to talk about, I don't want to associate with my brand, and my brand doesn't associate with this, and stand for this, and... I'm going to cease and desist. That's your favorite term. Cease and desist from, my, from calling my name and what my brand represents. Your brand represents litigation with everybody who you're coming in contact with. Uh, Sizzler, because we see him case. People, if you, go, if you go on the different legal systems, go to Pacemaker, go to South Florida, go to New York court systems and type in a name and see how much time he been in court for people music and catalog with him say his theme. Okay, for fear, then I'm gonna belong to you. But the way of how you want to accumulate and and recoup of people's intellectual rights is wrong. And that is the reason why, even though I was not involved in music and the world know that, I go find out 
and read and get legal advice about what it is supposed to be. You're always, are you compose? Are you write? Are you produce? And you do everything because the artists are nobody. That I want to always come saying, oh, I thought they were very talented and I could see talent. You always see talent until, until it comes to the end where you want to say, this work now belongs to you. Tell it, but I go look and check on the copyright.gov if I'm already copyright the songs and say it's yours by agreement. Because I did the same thing for Walker Mile. I did the same thing to Dance Al Soka. Spirit, all them see a theme. I went, I went ahead and copyrighted them and say it is his. You hear? So you need to go check. And if we never stand up with other the tre trek over here, me surprised now you are talking about how people are threatening you. What about when, when, when you did a thing you're a threat? And what and what you can do? Hmm? And you did with the law. And Mr. No worry. Don't worry. The law for everybody. The law for you, the law for we, and the law for Talop and any other persons who is in contact with you with regards to their music. The law represents them. Yes. So, me glad you're you know. Me glad you're a note. Because at full time now, you show up a face. You know, if I want to try to find you, are you, a try, are, you a, are you trying to escape? You're, es you're trying to escape the law? You're trying to escape the law of trying to get to you? Hmm? As if you don't know that you're in contempt of court in South Florida. As if you don't, uh, you're going to talk about the law, the silent, because, you, because you remain silent. People take it as the truth. Why do you make yourself a lion wicked? Hmm? You file a case against me, you know? Francine Allison Gale. Launching global music and Ricardo McCaster Gale. And you said all the things that we just say about us and, and why you and why these catalogs, catalogs are yours. And all of a sudden, she started, they started to talk with the people. They talk about social media people. No, remember, you, oh, you did a run out and tell everybody to post this and post that. King mix up, Dr. Love, this one, that one. Because then for run with your story. Because you are the producer and you are intelligent and cargo are idiot and him can read and write and everybody run the public liars them run with it too. Oh, I'm a fool because the man the man know music because you did, because you was affiliated with VP and VP and you was in was in cahoots together so you feel like you are the big bad dog in a music and everybody had to run to you and bow to you but not not again. That's again. Talk, talk up to the people them and fight him. <laughs>